Hello everyone, Ankit here and you are watching Study IQ IS English channel. In today's video, we will be talking about a very special drone that has been acquired by India from Israel known as these Harab drones. What is so special about these drones? Let us try to find this one out. Now first, why are we discussing Harab drones today? Now, a day after India hit terror bases in Pakistan and Pakistani occupied Kashmir as a part of its operation called Operation Sindur, the defense system of India, it thwarted Pakistani attacks on the military targets in northwestern and western part of India on Thursday, that is May on 8th. Now, also, India targeted in retaliation multiple air defenses system in Pakistan and hence it was achieved or it has been able to achieve to successfully neutralize and destroy the air defense system of Pakistan, which is of Chinese origin in the city of Lahore. Now, many experts, they believe that India used Israeli Harab drones, which is a kind of unmanned combat aerial vehicle to destroy these kind of aerial defense systems that Pakistan had in Lahore. So in this regard, let us try to understand what these Israeli Harab drones are all about, what is so special about them and how India could have used it to destroy the Pakistani targets in Lahore. Now, if you want to download the notes, these will be available on my telegram channel ATS Live. So you have an option to search for ATS Live in the search bar of your telegram app. And also you can scan this QR code and this will take you directly to the channel, right? So let us start our today's discussion. Now, you know, these Harab drones, these are a form of loitering munition. Now, loitering munition, it is very easy to understand. These have the benefits of drones and also of missiles. How these works? Let me tell you. Now, these are the category of drones. They are called as loitering munition because they loiter or they hover around a target or very close to their target. Now, once they are able to identify and lock into their target, they can cause destruction by crashing into their targets and they also have an explosive payload in them only. So therefore, it can effectively destroy the target, earning the name such as suicide drones or kamikaze drone. Now, kamikaze is a word that originated in World War II because in World War II, the Japanese, they did not have enough missiles for their aircrafts to target the American uh, assets, right? So what Japanese pilots did that they used to fly on the aircrafts and when they were able to spot the Japan American assets, they used to crash on them. And these pilots were called as kamikaze pilots. Similarly, the word kamikaze can also be used for drone because these drones are effectively are the ones that first of all, surveils the target, locks into them and then attacks them by destroying the target. Understood? Now, these are the form of loitering munition now these loitering munition not just can can destroy the targets but they also can be used to surveil the targets now after they are able to surveil the targets they carry out precision strikes autonomously or even by the order of the pilot now what these loiter munitions usually do that they carry a camera which might be mounted on any part of the a drone, particularly in the case of Harabs, these are mounted on the nose of Harabs, right? Now, these cameras are used by the operator of the drone to see the area of operation and also accordingly to decide on what kind of targets to hit. Similarly, if the operator determines out of three targets, they want to hit the first target, they can order the drone to do so. Now, this is very different as the conventional precision guided weapons. Now, traditional precision guided systems or weapons, what you need to do in them that before launching these weapons, you need to give the targets to these weapons that you need to feed the targets in them. But this is very different in case of loitering munition. You don't need not decide the target beforehand. You can launch these drones. These drones will effectively surveil and give you the data that is give you the video of the data and accordingly you can decide which kind of a target to hit. Therefore, it gives you the better option and better maneuverability and time to decide on what kind of a target to hit. Therefore, these are more effective as compared to the precision or the usual precision guided weapons that are launched from aircrafts. Okay. Now, other features of these Harab drones, these are manufactured by an Israeli company or who also manufactures Barak-8 missiles. These are Israeli aerospace industry and the quality of these Harab drones that their endurance or their ability to fly is 9 hour long. Now, when 
drones have such a huge amount of endurance that is its ability to stay in air for longer duration of time it allows the drone to first of all seek the targets in the designate area locate and identify them send the data to the operators which will allow the operators to plan the attack route and then once they plan the attack route they can pursue the strike from any direction be it a very low level shallow strike or a steep dive into the targets now these systems they also have a benefit that they are immune to any electronic warfare that electronic warfare might be form of uh, the jamming of the global navigation satellite system which might make any drones ineffective because how will they navigate in the enemy territory but these are immune from any jamming of the signal so they are immune from electronic warfare also now another benefits of these drones that they can be launched from canisters which can be mounted say on trucks on ships and they can be deployed from diverse terrains and environment so they can be deployed from sea they can be deployed from mountainous regions and they can also be deployed from planes understood so these are the benefits of these aircraft system that they can stay in air for 9 hours of time which will allow it to look for the targets wait for the targets to come send the data to the operators and then according to the operator's wishes it can make a steep dive into the target and it can even approach the targets in a shallow mode also it is immune to electronic warfare that makes it quite effective in even against the technologically advanced nations and also these can be launched anywhere therefore allowing the uh, defense forces to decide and launch accordingly understood so this is all relating to our today's discussion i have curated a special question on harab drones so please solve this question and let me know the correct answer in the comment section and if you want to download the notes as usual they will be available on my telegram channel so this is all from my side we'll see each other again until then please have a very good night